Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the city touching. All righty, Patrick. All right, uh, number six, these shoes, let me tell you something, are a vibe. Ooh. Uh, and yeah, to they think are. they were high fashion around 100 years ago. They're uh, red rubber, silver wing bathing shoes. Paul knows all about oh, yeah. these. He's <laughs> got at least a dozen pair. Uh, they would have been worn by a very stylish swimmer looking to show off uh, a bit and have some fun around the pool or when you're getting out of the bath. Which yeah. is why you so these are old timey? These are not new fashion? Oh, they're coming back. Oh, they're, oh. Coming back. oh, they're a vibe. Look yeah. like yeah. at that. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah, nice. Mm. All right, number five. Uh, we bet you're wondering what kind of women wore those stunning rubber swim shoes. Well, let's look back at some of the bathing beauties of the 1920s. Look at them showing yeah. their knees. Yeah. 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 What the is going on? In the early Heathens. 20s, it was popular to wear black rolled stockings with your swimsuit. That didn't last very long. Uh, they also wore a swim dress over longer shorts that were attached underneath. But as the Roaring Twenties went on, women became more daring. Yeah. They chose a little bit more risque two-piece suits, known as the old Jansen suits, not to be confused with Mike Jansen. Yeah. This one's with the Z. Oh, yeah, they still make Jansen swimwear. Well, yeah, they look like yeah. a tank top uh, sewn to a pair of swim shorts. Well, well, well. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Wow. That's, That's so the way funny you do that it, you think. You know, 80 years ago when guys were yeah. at the bar. Yeah. Like, Did you see the set of knees on Nancy at the beach the other day? Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Filed those away in the old mental Rolodex. Those yeah. knees. <laughs> They're the bees' knees, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, what a boy. Of those knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number that four. Is true. We can only dream about sitting on a beach right now, so let's get back to reality. Snow yeah. will be here soon enough. So you might as well be ready when it comes. Why not try an electric shovel? Mm. Motorized shovels can clear a driveway quickly and you don't have to do the heavy lifting. There are lots of options, but there are a few things to know. How much of a path you'll need to clear. No. How much snow do you actually get? That could determine Ooh. whether you want one of these shovels or you need, you know, a big snow blower. You know, the heavy duty sure. stuff. So who, well, that looks just like a mini snow blower. Is, yeah. yeah, is that what I it is? Know. Yeah, I'm not George? familiar with this. So does it, I wonder if that works works well. You know, that's a question for Mr. Fix-It. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's always talking about the big old snow blowers. Yeah, yeah those are wonderful. All right, number three, here's another holiday hack for you. Try the Drew Barrymore rule. She has two daughters, and she doesn't buy them presents for Christmas. Instead of opening toys or clothes or other random items, she chooses to give them the gift of an experience, a family trip. We don't have Drew Barrymore-style money, but the point is, give them memories. A day together, or even a long weekend getaway, because yeah. that's the stuff they'll cherish and yeah. remember yeah. long after the other stuff is forgotten. Yeah. Or you could do both. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, you can't get them like, you know, a Barbie, yeah. too, to put in the yeah. stocking? Well, let's not underestimate how much every kid loves a long weekend in New Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so they can go antiquing. Yeah. That's usually what most of them want. Anyway. That's exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly mm, right. That's fun. Oh. All right, number two. Uh, we've all been talking about the big Twitter auction. Yeah. They're getting rid of all sorts of stuff, coffee pots, fancy exercise bikes, desks, lamps. One thing in particular caught our attention, it's these chairs. We need chairs. Yeah, yeah. you see these things? Got real arms, ones that aren't falling off. There's no duct tape, cushions. They got everything, and they're going for about 25 bucks a piece. Well, why aren't we on this? Well, because we're not into that kind of stuff. Maybe we could get a group of volunteers here to pile Drive some money there. together. Maybe we raise $100 and get four. Seems like this would solve our problems. You well, just yeah. have to get someone to drive out there yeah. and load them up and bring them back. All right. I'll load them to the van. It's fine. <laughs> we could probably fit eight of them in there. Yeah. In fact, I might apply to take that job on. <laughs> you could go. I you'd be leave, gone for two weeks. I could leave by seven. <laughs> be back next month. <laughs> All right, number one, in case you didn't know, uh, we really, really need those Twitter chairs. Oh, <laughs> 
chair because mm -hmm. it was shedding foam yeah. so yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there you know what I bet it'll be a holiday surprise I yeah. bet it's just yeah. you know we're, I, I, yeah. I, that's what You're I'm right. thinking yeah. Yeah. Come in Christmas morning there's gonna be a whole bunch of them yes. sitting out not to the point that is yeah but we run up and steal them from News Nation <laughs> yeah. who have them circling their cappuccino machine which we also don't have and yeah. their fresh popcorn yeah oh well one of these yeah. days you yeah. never know yeah. you yeah. never know yeah. I'm yeah. optimistic you yeah. know <laughs> Yeah, we you know. definitely and you're know. long enough to know. Yeah. Nothing's changing. Either. <laughs> All right. There you are. That was the six at six. Yeah. Uh,